Anyway. It says it gets to a thousand degrees <laughs> and yeah, it yeah. locks itself shut. Uh, well, Froggy, we'll start with you. What's on your mind today? Okay, I've got an investigation going on in my home. Both dogs went outside. Both dogs came back in. One left a slight little nugget on the floor. I don't think his cutter is as sharp Whoa. as the other's cutter. Hello. So we have to figure out whose it is. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to figure well, it out. Could it have been a dingly dangly? <laughs> but, but whose was it? Well, I don't know. Does it matter? How do you at this figure point? it out. Well, I know. How are you, what are you going to do? I know, but if it's dingly dangly, it doesn't matter. You just get right. up and move on. And they, they both stood there and looked at each other and looked at me like nobody was going to claim that That's one. not mine. Like, nope. Is that mine? <laughs> 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 <You're> <laughs> They're smart. <laughs> Scary. What's up with you today? Okay. The filthiest place in my apartment is my oven because it's never, ever gotten cleaned. And I have had a child since childhood had this fear of cleaning an oven because I read the instructions and it's serious business. Do you ever see a, a self-cleaning oven yes. instructions? Yeah. It's the it, easiest thing in the world to do. It's self-cleaning. No, no. What do you do? Self-cleaning. It says it gets to a thousand degrees and yes. it locks itself shut and they say you have to remove everything from anywhere near Scary. any of the surface. Scary, you're not cremating a body. All you do is like just Clear the area, turn it on. It does everything. You don't have to think. Yeah, you're you're actually you, getting nuts over there. I'm going to. I'm going to actually do it. I keep trying to for the last two and a half years trying to bring myself to do it and hit that button. Because after just you saying, do it, you're gonna be like, I'm so stupid. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do it today. Just hit, hit that button. That's it. Scary. It's a non-event. Get back to me on that. Push the button and walk away. Producer Sam, uh, what's on your mind today? So everybody knows on the show we're huge advocates for wellness and taking care of your mental health. And I freaking love that because I say my therapist changed my life. So when I last opened up about that on the show, a bunch of people reached out and said, great, how do I find a healthcare worker? And I didn't know what exactly to tell them because I found mine coincidentally. But yesterday, and no, this is not paid for, I learned about Alma Healthcare, A-L-M-A, and there are other companies just like them where you can one-stop shop so you can put what's important to you. Maybe you want to speak to a man. Maybe their sexual identity matters. Maybe their age. Maybe their religion. And it's kind of like a department store but for therapists. So there are places that make it really easy because I know from firsthand experience it could be really intimidating and there are so many people out there who need help. So yesterday I learned about Alma but there are others just like it. So if you're in need, start searching there. Don't give up. It's totally worth it. All right, Alma. (laughs) (laughs) Simplifying access to therapy. Boom. Thank you. Sign up. (laughs) Hey, uh, what's up there, Danielle? Um, So yesterday I had bought these beautiful stuffed peppers. They had chopped meat and they were already like, you know, seasoned and delicious. So I thought everything was just ready to eat and I just had to warm it up. So I put it in the oven and I'm looking, I'm like, doesn't look right. I don't know why it doesn't look right. I almost served the family raw chopped meat because I didn't realize it wasn't cooked at all. It was raw chopped meat that you had to bake the whole damn oh, thing. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I th- thank gosh I checked because the family would not have been happy with me last oh. night. It was delicious once I cooked it. I will say that. <laughs> would not have been if I had not cooked it. Some people okay. like their ground beef look really red. Like, Some people like it very rare. Like, oh, no, yeah. tonight we're having beef tartare. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there was a lot on top, Frog. I couldn't tell. Gandhi, what's up with you? I mentioned this earlier, but if you have not seen Soul, it's out on Disney Plus right now. No, this is not an ad either. If you haven't seen Soul, do yourselves a favor and go watch it. I saw it yesterday. It is very much more for adults than it is for children. It was wonderful. It made me teary, and it'll really make you think about your life, what you're doing with your life, where you're going. It was wonderful. It's been out since Christmas, but it's awesome. Add it to the list. Gosh, Mm -hmm. the list is growing. Uh, Straight Nate, what are you doing over there? What's on your mind? Oh, well, you know, every once in a while we meet someone that is a huge fan of the show, so I have to shout out Joshua. Uh, My uh, contractor, Wayne, called me and said, hey, do you mind if I conference in this guy that works for me? He says he's a really big fan, and he is the biggest fan ever. So I just want to say hi to Joshua. He was recalling bits from years ago and and knows what size you got down to, Elvis, when you lost all your weight. I mean, he just knew everything. So. Uh, Joshua, it was a pleasure talking to you, and keep listening, please. I wish I could Hi, get Joshua. back down, down to that size again. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> today, I'm going to clean up my refrigerator because it stinks. Does uh. anyone else experiencing a stinky refrigerator? 
Not today, oh, no. but sometimes. <laughs> what do you think uh, it stinks of? What do you think is the culprit? Uh, I know that there's there is some old uh, hamburger meat in there. Well, it, it used to be red, now it's brown. Oh yeah, no, but no, it's no. in a bag. But you can. And, but yeah. you know what? Even if it's wrapped up. Broccoli and cauliflower tend to always have that fart smell. Oh. Yeah, broccoli gets you. The average American has five expired items. I'm not even talking about, I'm talking about stinky items, but it, when it comes, <laughs> comes to expired items, there's yeah. a lot of, I've got stuff in there, like I have some relish from last year. I still use it. I'm like, Yeah, well, but it's pickled, doesn't like yeah, pickled doesn't things last a lot yeah, longer. It's just go bad. It's pickled. <laughs> <laughs>